Okay, it's October first, uh, October third today, and in anticipation of Christmas coming up, I thought we would make this little uh, Christmas decoration. It's a little frame with a wavy edge all around the sides, and uh, a picture uh, glued down with an adhesive in the middle. Your typical, uh, in this case, a uh, little red truck seems to be quite popular at Christmas time. Uh, you can use any picture you want in here, of course. It's a 5x5 five five, uh, size picture. The frame itself is 6x6. Six six, and it's made up of two pieces. <clears throat> I made it out of uh, MDF, which is the thicker piece, the back backboard, and the front piece, which is a little frame uh, cut from... Uh, birch plywood, a uh, quarter inch birch plywood. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make this this morning and I'll show you how to put it together and you can use it for your own purposes. You could use it for Christmas or make it for other other occasions too. Uh, for the backing I used a uh, <clears throat> little sawtooth hanger to hang it up on the wall. You could also make it as a stand-up item if you prefer to do that. We're going to need uh, Two pieces of wood, as I mentioned, we're going to need a piece of quarter-inch uh, birch plywood. Again, this is arbitrary. You can do whatever you want if you have something else you'd like to use. And I also have a piece of MDF, both cut to 6x6. Six six. Now, <clears throat> there's a plan for this, a little uh, pattern. Um, very simple to use. I've got a, a link down below posted so you can click on that and it'll take it to the pattern. It's a free pattern you can download and you, it will help you uh, cut this thing accurately and then uh, using the video I'm got, going to present here you can see how this thing is put together. Nothing really complicated. Okay so let's get started by uh, first of all uh, setting up our patterns and do some cutting on our scroll saw. All right, the first thing we want to cut out is our uh, MDF board, our backing board. I'm going to use this uh, green painter's tape uh, to cover the surface. Uh, it serves several purposes. One, it will, and, and if you're using wood, of course, it would prevent the burn of the wood. But it also uh, lubricates the blade as you're working, and you have... Uh, much smoother cut when you're done. Uh, in the case of this project, however, it's going to serve another purpose. We're going to be able to use this uh, taped pattern after we cut this out to also <clears throat> make our um, frame that goes around the edges. Uh, you could do the frame as a separate uh, cut altogether, but this might save you a little bit of time. I'll show you what I mean as we approach that. So let me get my tape all on here first. Just simply a matter of putting it all down, flipping it over and cutting off the uh, pieces that hang over the edges. There we go. We got our board ready now. What we want to do now is cut out our pattern and uh, then uh, paste it down or glue it down or adhesive it down in our case. Uh, to the board to get ready to cut. All right, I've gummed up the back of this uh, pattern now using a glue stick, and I'm going to just put it right over the top of the board so that we can cut out around the edges. Now we're only going to cut around the outside of this for the backing board. Okay, so we don't really need even a uh, an entry hole, but I will make one just to uh, keep it nice and firm and in place while we're doing our cutting. So I'll see you over at the scroll saw and we'll get busy cutting this. Alright, we're at the scroll saw now and I made a little entry hole here just to uh, get the blade through and also to keep the whole project pretty steady. If you just cut out, uh, start your cut there, 
as you go around the edges this other pieces are going to start to wobble and hang whereas if you, you do it with an entry hole you got the uh, frame holding this thing together as you're doing your cutting I'm going to use a uh, number five reverse tooth blade and hopefully it won't break on me as I go along here sometimes you have accidents and it does happen but not all the time so we're going to put this through the entry hole and lock down our head here okay it's nice and tight and we are ready to start cutting I'll probably speed this up uh, so you don't have to get bored silly watching this um, try to keep my hands out of the way it's kind of hard to do sometimes when you're filming something all right here we go put my mask on Okay, got this all cut out now. Take it out. It's a very simple cut, actually. Nothing too complicated on this. Just got to keep yourself nice and even as you cut along. Get this out of there. And this can be just tossed out. We have our nice little frame set up here. Let's take this over to the bench and do some work with it. Alright, we've got our little uh, frame all cut out now, and what we're going to do is peel this paper off. What you want to do is try and get the paper and the tape together all the way as you take it off. Take my mask off here, so I can speak a little better. Okay, so it comes off, it should come off pretty easy, and it does. And you've got your frame all cut out now that you're going to need. Put that aside for now. And we'll take our quarter inch birch uh, plywood and we could cut out the other pattern, tape this up, put it down to our cutting again, but we've got a pretty good pattern here and it pretty much matches the original one. So what we'll do is we'll put this down on the board and hope the tape has enough stick to it. So that will hold out. Probably move it over a little further. If you want to, you can take it over to your uh, glue stick and put a little more gum on it. Okay, I use my, uh, I use my glue stick to uh, gum up the back a little more. Make it a little more tacky. And line it up here on your area that you want to cut. And then just press it down and you got yourself a pattern already made so you don't have to waste any more tape and get it down as firm as possible now what we're going to want to do of course is we're going to want to cut um, the outside just as we did with the backboard but then we're going to cut out the inside so that we have a nice thin little frame here which will look pretty good. So let's go to the scroll saw so we can do that. We'll put a couple of uh, entry holes in first. Okay, here we are again at the scroll saw. 
And let's cut on the let's cut the outside first. Uh, not that it makes any difference. I suppose you could do either one. But let's do that and see how this works. Okay, we now have another piece similar to the backboard, same size, all cut out. Now we're going to cut out the center section so we make our little frame. Okay, we're ready to do the inside cut now, so let's do that. Using the same blade, you should be able to cut this out with very little difficulty. Again, just use a smooth cut as possible, and uh, should go okay. Okay, we finished the frame now. It's going to be for the edges of the backing board. You can take this and toss it out if you want, or you can conserve it as a piece of scrap wood. Might even want to try making another kind of picture decoration for this. I'm going to save it. You never know what comes down the road in terms of ideas. Okay, so take this off and let's. Uh, Bring it over to the bench to peel off this paper. Alright, we've got our little frame here. We can just peel this uh, tape and paper off. Should come off without too much difficulty. I'm going to handle it very gently, of course, because you don't want to... Uh, have it snap on you, which you could do, it's rather fragile. Take this off of here. Might require, require several pulls in different areas. Okay, got our little frame here. Now, along the edges you're going to probably find some little fuzzies here and there. So what I would do is, I made this little uh, sander out of a stick. I took some adhesive, put it on the back of a thin piece of sandpaper. I think it's uh, 300 grit, something like that. And um, what I'm going to do is go around all the edges here. Very gently, nothing too tough. Just to take off any fuzzies you might see along the edges here. I usually do this on my with projects that I have on my uh, belt sander right, which I have a, a mop attached to and uh, 
it does a pretty good job but the problem is with this is that it's so fragile uh, the uh, mop would probably destroy it in a second if I let down my guard where I am doing the sanding so this uh, this is not too difficult to do though it's looks like it's coming off pretty good you can get in these little crevices here and there this is just a little piece of wood and you can uh, go over it with a blower just to make sure all the pieces are off there okay I'll take my blower now and go around it clean it up a little more and uh, then we're gonna glue this down but before we glue it down <clears throat> we're going to want to paint it. Wouldn't be a good idea, especially if you want a separate color. Uh, we're going to paint this a white color. And uh, we'll use a spray paint to do it. And I've already sprayed the backing board, uh, sort of a, uh, a red, a dark red color. Uh, doesn't really matter too much what colors you use because you're going to be covering it with the picture anyways. But this should be done in a white as a border. You can use other colors if you prefer. Uh, so I'm going to go do that. I'm going to spray paint it first and then we'll come back and we'll work on the final part of putting this thing together. Okay, I've uh, painted the backboard a nice uh, dark red color and I've got a picture I'm going to use. It's a winter scene with a lantern with some berries in it and branches. Makes a nice little decoration. And what we're going to do first is... Uh, put this down on the backing board we're going to glue it down with an adhesive before we actually uh, put the uh, border around it so I'm going to go put some adhesive on this right now uh, use an adhesive spray for this and we'll flatten it out nice and smooth all right we've got this nice and uh, adhesived on the back I'm going to take it now and put it squarely in the center, as close as possible. We're just going to eyeball this thing, not going to make a big deal out of it. Put it down there and then take a piece of plain paper and rub it down real good and smooth. And that adhesive will take care of itself nicely. Just peel the paper off, and you got your picture nicely put down there. All right, now the next job is going to be to glue our frame around the outer edges. So, what we're going to do with this is get some glue and a toothpick to make it work. I'll be back in a second. All right, we've got our frame turned upside down here, the white side facing down. And I'm going to take a little toothpick, okay, and we got some glue over here. And we're going to use it just a little drop at a time and put along the outer edges here. It doesn't have to be all the way around. Just put it in selected spots. It's not going to be a heavy traffic item, so you don't have to do the whole thing. And the reason I don't do the whole thing is that when you smooth this out sometimes, if you got the whole thing covered, sometimes uh, leaks glue out of there onto the picture, and that doesn't look very good. But I found that uh, just a few well-placed drops here and there usually takes care of it. You can go over it with the uh, toothpick to smooth those out and spread it out also. And if you do happen to get any leak over onto the frame inside, you can always take that off with your finger just before you put it down. Okay. Got a little bit of a leak inside here, so just wipe that up. Okay, that's good. Alright, now we take our picture 
the backing I should say put it down there and take our frame make sure you've got the bigger ends on the in the proper location and then just put this thing right down along the edges it should fit pretty good I mean it might be a little bit over in some areas but it's hardly noticeable put that down like that and I have just clamped it in the past so what I'm going to do is take the inside board that I have there just sort of put it across there like that and then take a heavy weight and just put it down on top there now that weight will be enough to uh, give it pressure and make it uh, seal very nicely okay we come back we'll finish this thing off and uh, wrap it up <laughs> okay we're gonna wrap this up now <clears throat> got the uh, picture glued down and the uh, frame front glued down what I'm gonna do now is put one of these little hangers on the back since it's six inches across put it at the center would be three inches so what I'm going to do is put that on there. I'm going to use a little bit of uh, CA glue to put this down. Or this isn't a uh, highly trafficked item. So a little bit of glue will do it. Right there on the center. Just like that and we'll let that dry now and once it's dried I think it'll be pretty solid we'll hang it up on the wall and uh, flip this over to take a final look at it and there you have it the finished product um, if you're interested in doing this, there's a link down below to the pattern. Just click on it. It's a free pattern. You'll have to come up with your own picture, of course. Uh, you can take anything off the internet. Uh, shouldn't be no big deal to find one. And cut it to 5x5 five five and you're ready to go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go down there and do that right now. And click this as a like if you really liked it. Thank you for watching.